Welcome back, GB Nation. This is your host, GMB Reacts. We're about to watch some scary stuff right now. So if you aren't into horror stuff, I'm warning you right now, this is going to be the scariest content that I've ever put on the channel. I'm warning you all right now. Please tap off and watch another video on my channel. You know what I'm saying? I got plenty of videos that aren't as scary as this one's going to be. But if you are down to watch the latest video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into today's video. Without further ado, I need y'all to watch this with me, man. Everybody in the premiere section, make sure you leave a comment so I know that I'm not alone. Okay? Thank you, guys. Let's get right into it. This is... My first ever in a long time. 14 horror stories. Animated compilation. Let's get into it. Y'all ready? Let's go. Whew. Sheesh. All right, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Before I start, let me put the display button up in. All right, here we go. My name is Pascal. I'm 22 years old now, but this event happened three years ago when I was 19. It happened in the middle of the night when my parents were away for an important company meeting. The company was kind of far away from where we lived, so I stayed home by myself while they were gone. One time, while I was at home alone, I looked out the window, randomly, and froze. There was a tall man, almost dressed entirely in black. He was wearing a tuxedo and holding a kitchen knife. Oh no. This guy was standing right outside of the door, looking at me. He wasn't laughing at all, and his head was twitching continuously. Sir, please get off our property, otherwise I'll call the police. I opened the window and told him, then the man replied, Oh, you can do that if you want, as long as you don't look away. Because of this strange attitude, I felt anxious, so I grabbed my cell phone and called the police. But when I looked out the window again, he was gone. At that very moment, I heard footsteps coming from downstairs. I suddenly remembered that I forgot to lock my garden door. And that's where you f***ed up. That's where you f***ed up. <laughs> so it was still open. I thought I was gonna die at first, but then I pulled myself together. I got my bat and looked down the stairs, slowly, trying not to make a sound. There he was. What you gonna do with a bat, man? Bring, you, you should have had the blicky with you so you can make his ribs sticky. Blah, blah, come here. Blah, blah. Ice up his ribs. He was just staring at me. He didn't move but said, I told you not to look away. A few moments later, we heard sirens. The man still did not move. But then he suddenly changed his mind and walked over to me. I tried to swing my bat towards him, but I was so scared. I couldn't do anything. At that point, I'm, I'm ready to jump out the window. And... I'm flying out the window. Hit, freak, bro, I don't give a damn what happened, bro. I'd ra rather hurt myself than let that nigga hurt me. Let's shoot that knife. Hell no, y'all got me effed up. Thing except scream. The police broke down the door. One policeman tried to arrest him, and the other one tried to take the knife away from him. But the man resisted. He was strong. Even though he was outnumbered, they couldn't stop him. They threatened to shoot him in the foot. But he didn't care. Furthermore, he attacked the two policemen and they tumbled down to the ground. I ran to one of the rooms and slammed the door. Fuck! They should have just shot him. What the hell? Door shut. But he kicked in the door. When the door opened, I could see his face. And I will never, ever forget that moment. However, at that very moment, the police caught up to him and shot his foot. 
the guy started screaming in pain. Shortly after that, he managed to jump outside of a window and disappeared. The policemen chased after him, but unfortunately, they failed to arrest him. I never saw that guy again. I'm glad that I survived that incident, but I also feel nervous that he'll come to my house again. What the actual fuck, bro? From that day on, I always... This is why you don't leave your kids alone at home, nigga. Let them sleep over at their families, their friends' crib, uh, a daycare. Somewhere safe and sound for them, bro. Like, you don't leave your kids home at night alone, bro. They are under the age... Uh... I would say under age 16, honestly. I want to say under age 13. But yeah, under age 16, uh, you're more responsible around that age. You're able to drive around that age for shit. Man, this little nigga forgot to lock on. And they should have had called to make sure, like, hey, make sure you lock all the doors. Like, they too lackadaisy, bro. Like, that's, bro. That's, that's, some parents just don't give a damn. It's just... He could have easily died, bro. Easily died. And it took two police officers, bro. And this nigga still got away, bro. I would have been left. I would have been gone, my, my guy. I don't know what he was. Yeah. I, I don't know. That's a 50 50 because luckily he did stay there so the police could get to him. Because if he did leave the house and that man caught up to him, he would have probably murdered that boy. So I don't know. It was just like that. It's like, damn if you do, damn if you don't. These type of stories are crazy, man. And there's always be white folks telling these type of stories. I'm sorry. I just had to say it. But come on now. You don't know if it's, you know, come on now. Just come on. We made sure I locked all the doors and windows. <laughs> When I was a teenager, I would often explore the deep web with my friends, specifically weird stuff on Hidden Wiki. There were definitely a lot of links to choose from. I never clicked on the violent links because I'm not into that. My friend Latrice told me to click on one that says new best friend. After doing so, it takes you to a page where you have to make a profile. I put the name Lisa on my profile. My real name is Susan. I got a deep voice niggas. <laughs> they got this deep voice person playing a female role. It just makes it even more creepy. Once I made the profile, you are directed to a main page that has categories. They were silly, serious, smart, and smothering. We clicked smothering. I thought it was funny. After choosing, there was a list of people with their pictures, male and female. I clicked on a profile of a guy that had the name five, like the number five. I entered and it didn't seem like someone who would be a smothering friend. When I was searching through his profile, I received a message from him asking if I were looking for a friend. I looked at Latrice and she laughed, but also told me to respond yes. So we're messaging back and forth for maybe 30 minutes and then Latrice had to go. I told him I'll be back on tomorrow and he said okay. Maybe a week went by where I would talk to him every night. He seemed very nice so we exchanged numbers so we could talk more. Everything seemed fine until I clicked on another profile and someone else messaged me. I started talking with this other person but still was texting the guy 5, which I knew his real name now as William. The new guy had the name Bill on his profile. A day went by, and he seemed cool, but then William randomly asked me why I was talking with Bill. I didn't know what to say, so I never responded. He kept texting with angry messages, so I blocked him. I didn't receive any texts, only a single message on that site, and it said, soon. One day after school, my friend Latrice came over to have a sleepover. We got comfortable, went to my room, and did our usual of surfing through the web, being nosy. I brought up that guy. Then I received a text message that said, Why'd you block me? From a random number. 
I replied with a question mark. Then he replied, it's me, William. He texted me from another number after I blocked him. I told Latrice how creepy this guy is. Then Latrice stopped me from talking because she thought she heard something. Then I heard a voice. I'm not that creepy. We oh, hell no. Gotta get the hell up out of there right now. Get the fuck up out of there. Please go. He finna stuff you in a motherfucking hole. You finna die. Pack your bags and get some pie. Cause nigga, you gonna die. Please go. And you is a hoe. You for the streets for a show. Stop playing with this man. He gonna kill you cause he ain't creepy. He's sleepy. And he might be on the peep. To get it something deep. Real, real deep. In them sheets. Alright, let me chill out. Both responded by screaming and looking around. I saw someone coming from under my bed, so we ran screaming out of my room, and my mother called the cops. They didn't get him because he left through my window, and nothing could be traced back to him. I'm starting to think that he was both of the people I was talking to. That definitely opened my eyes to the dangers of the internet. I would never visit the dark web again. But um, this 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 is like 50 minutes long. So if y'all want to see a uh, part two to this, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll react to a part two of this. But I'm gonna keep my videos under a certain time limit, um, unless it's gameplay. So without further ado, I appreciate y'all for tuning in, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is GMB Creates, aka GMB X. And if y'all want to see some more creepy videos, let me know in the comment section down below. Again, if y'all want to see a part two, leave a like and leave a comment down below saying part two. And I'll drop a part two to this. Uh, without further ado, y'all, I'll see you guys next time. And um, this is your host, GMBBX. And so far, so creepy. <laughs> Peace. More videos right here gameplays right here thanks for watching peace